So my uh, OBS decided to mess up and record black screen for all these, so unfortunately for the rest of this video there will be only still shots, but hey, hope you don't mind and we'll get into the video proper. Hello everybody and we are once again reviewing Spongebob, this time looking at Season 6. Unfortunately for us, Season 6 shows another decline of Spongebob as the season ranking is lower than before and has more episodes, but most of them are not very good. However, there are a few gems, so let's see what sucks and what's good. At the bottom of the list, we have Shovel Boarding, easily the worst Spongebob episode I've seen so far, and that's saying a lot. In this episode, Spongebob and Patrick have everyone arrested in a bikini bomb for no reason. No funny jokes are told of it, they're just assholes. And because of their actions, two elderly old superheroes get beat up by the townsfolk because of their horrible actions. What a terrible episode. Choir Boys is next, it's one of the worst episodes of the series, where Spongebob acts like a complete jackass to Lily Squidward and everybody else, and his singing sucks too. It's just awful, flat out terrible. Slide Whistle Stooges. I, I, I mean, this one is pretty self-explanatory why it's so bad, so next. Next is Gone. This episode actually might have been ranked higher if it wasn't for the awful, awful ending. It turns out that everybody actually hates Spongebob, including his best friends and family. What a lovely ending to a lovely episode. Fuck this episode. Professor Squidward. Usually episodes that feature Squilliam are pretty good. This one is not. It's bland, it doesn't do anything interesting with premise, and Spongebob and Patrick act like idiots, but not in anything that's funny. Just, all oh, we're dumb. That's it. it. Sucks. Next is Giant Squidward. This one's pretty self-explanatory, too. Everyone hates Squidward for no fault of his own, so why would I want to watch an episode about that? It's like the Spongebob could fly, but 10,000 times worse. Next is The Splinter, probably the most infamous episode of Spongebob ever to be released, and it's obvious why it's infamous here. Just a gross episode of the show that's not usually focused around gross out pretty much at all, and it's just not funny. It's just gross. And gross is just not funny in general, unless you do something interesting with it, which this episode does not. Next is Shell Shock. This episode is gross and really unfunny, too, so it's a really bad episode. Next is Toy Story of Doom, a very filler-heavy episode. It has an interesting idea, but it has the worst execution in the show history. Next is The Card. In this episode, Patrick acts uncharacteristically asshole-ish to basically sponge up entirely and just does stuff that doesn't even feel in character for him. He should not be aware of his own stupidity, and this episode just fails miserably in that regard. Next is Boating Buddies. This could have been a great episode, but the execution is awful. Most episodes just Spongebob obsessing over Squoder for an unknown reason. It's just really weird. It's not good. Next is Cephalopod Lodge. This is one of the examples of this season just really hating on Squoder and love torturing this character, despite him not doing anything that's bad in this season. Like, I don't know if this is a season obsession with torturing Squoder, but it loves to do so. Next up is Pet or Pest. This is another episode that has more gross out than anything interesting going on, and just being gross is not a joke in itself, show writers, so yeah, it's not good. The Krabby Chronicle is just a very unfun episode to watch. It's just SpongeBob being drained of his all of his happiness because of Mr. Krabs being an asshole. So yeah, not a very fun episode to watch. I have nothing to say about Grooming Gary, it's just an eh episode. It sucks. Next up is Squid's Visit, a very bizarre episode where Spongebob obsesses over Squidward again and recreates his whole entire house. It kind of works, but at the same time, it just doesn't. Next up is Dear Vikings, and I got one thing to say. Dear Vikings, how come your episode sucks? Next up is No Nose Nose. Patrick gets a nose. That's it. No hat for Pat. Pa Mr. Krabs tortures Patrick. That That's it. Do square pants or not do square pants? That is the question. It's a really stupid episode, so what else do you want me to say? Spongebob has round pants that have square pants. Ooh. Next up is A Life in the Day. Some people really like this episode. For me, it doesn't do a whole lot, but it did give us a great classic line of living like Larry. Next up is The Krusty Crushers. This episode doesn't do a whole lot for me, especially not being into wrestling stuff, so yeah. Next up is Spongebob Squarepants versus the big one. It's a long episode, and when I mean long, I mean it's not very entertaining. It's just kind of there. It kind of makes you fall asleep watching it, to be honest. Pineapple Fever could have been a good episode if it wasn't for the bad jokes. The concept works, and sometimes it is funny, but for the most part, it is a lot of really bad and lame jokes. Next up is House Fancy. This episode has a very infamous part called the toenail scene, which I'm not going to show to you. But for the rest of the episode, I actually like it quite a bit, for the most part. Next on the list is going to require a very long talk about because it's a big episode. Truth or Square was a ratings trap for Nickelodeon for Spongebob's 10th anniversary, and they did a pretty bad job of it. As a kid, I hated this episode because it was false advertising. What they promised in the trailers that they showed all the time did not even happen. It's also full of a lot of live-action segments, which are usually funny, but they're mostly just full of a bunch of celebrity cameos that no kid would even care about, so what's the point of it? 
And there are tons of lies. The trailer said, oh, we're going to have SpongeBob and Sandy's wedding and the Krusty Krab formula revealed, but it doesn't even happen in the actual show. So what was the point of me watching it just to see nothing happening? Despite all this, the episode is fine for the most part. It's not boring, and there are stuff that I do like. It's mostly because of the false advertising when it first came out, which is the biggest problem with this episode. And the live action segments, of course. Next up is Penny Foolish, which I could consider a bad episode, but I kind of like the way it was executed, despite its really dumb premise of Mr. Krabs trying to steal SpongeBob's Penny. Global Pants is an episode that starts off fine, but it gets more and more ridiculous, and not really in a funny way. It has a unique concept, but kind of fails execution wise. Next up is Patty Caper, which is an alright episode. It works for the most part, though I don't think the ending's that great, but it is funny for some of the scenarios it produces. Next up is Poor's Pockets, which works for the most part. There are some people who do, do not like this episode, but for me, I like it. I like the uh, way it goes, and I think it's a good episode for the most part, though I feel like it could have been better. Next up is Computer Overload, our first Plankton episode on this list, and you'll see that his episodes are actually pretty good in this show. Well, he's season 6, at least. This episode would have been ranked higher, known as the Slumber Party, if it wasn't for the fact that it steals verbatim a joke from an earlier episode, which happens to be my favorite episode of Spongebob, and nobody's allowed. They were there's a fake Spongebob who actually isn't Spongebob, and they do the same thing that that episode did, so yeah, not funny. Chum Caverns is an art playing episode that is good, though it showcases that it's kind of weird this season, has a lot of episodes where Plankton actually gets a lot of money, which, oh, okay, good for him, he made money on stuff. Next up is Overbooked, which is a good concept where Spongebob has to be at different appointments at the same time, and so he's rushing in between one and the other, and it's pretty good for the most part. I'm not a big fan of the science sandy angle this season's been going with, but whatever. Next up is The Clash of Triton, which is an episode about King Neptune. We don't see a lot in the show, and his son Triton. Uh, don't ask for the continuity of the Spongebob and its royalty family. You'll be better off just not questioning it. Next up is Plankton's Regular. This episode was an episode I remember liking a lot as a kid when I saw it because it's just a night neat concept. Plankton gets one loyal customer and he's really happy about it. And yeah, that's all you really need sometimes for an episode. Next up is Sponge Kiss, where Plankton makes an arena instead of selling chum. And of course, it goes all bad and in all the best ways. It's a good episode. Next up is Grandpappy the Pirate. Mr. Krabs' grandpa is a pirate, and Mr. Krabs tries to trick him into thinking that he is a pirate, too. And it does it in all the funniest ways possible by having everyone at the Krusty Krab try to make it look like he's a pirate. And it, I, all the jokes are pretty good, to be honest. I like this one quite a lot. Next up is Ditchin', which is an episode that has a pretty good premise and executes it pretty well. Where SpongeBob ditches his boating school class and then procrastinates going back by finding more and more things to do. Next up is Sand Castles in the Sand, which a lot of people consider to be the best episode of Season 6. I don't think so, but it is a fun concept where Patrick and Spongebob have a sandcastle war. Next up is Chum Bucket Supreme, where we get another Plankton episode where he actually makes a lot of money. He makes a crap ton this season, actually. Next up is Single Cell Anniversary, another Plankton episode where he has to make an anniversary present for his wife, Karen. My computer wife, Karen! And it's just a fun episode, I like it. I like it a lot. Next is an episode I like a lot called Suction Cup Symphony, which has one of my favorite jokes for the rainbow. It comes out of Squirt's head, and it's kind of similar to Bang Geeks, just nowhere near as good, even though you rated it a 9. But yeah, imagine Bang Geeks, but not as good. And there you go, we got Suction Cup Symphony. Sun Bleach is a really funny episode about tanning and people's over reliance on tanning and all the stupid things that come with it. It's just a really dumb concept, but execution is very done incredibly well. I love it a lot. Next is Krabby Road, which is easily one of the best episodes of Season 6. There are so many funny jokes from Plankton like, trying to hide from the cop, just making a band in general, actually using SpongeBob's garage, and Squidward having to get jacked up before he can join the band. <laughs> he just must go the rest of the episode. This episode's great. Highly recommend it. Hi, how are you? And the best episode of Season 6 is Not Normal. I mean, were you surprised? This is easily the best episode of the season. It's funny, the concept's great, and execution-wise, I love it, and the ending's even funny. So yeah, that is Season 6 rank. So, what do you think about SpongeBob Season 6? Is it as the worst season so far? Are there worse seasons? Well, you're ranking the episodes. Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time when I do, do Season 7. Well, actually, I'm going to be viewing a SpongeBob video game for that. But till then, see you then. Hey, did you know I have a book? In fact, I have multiple books. They're available on Amazon. There should be a link in the description. However, I do have the digital versions on my Patreon. So if you want to support me and read what I have written, they're mostly kids' books, but you might enjoy it. After all, we all like SpongeBob or whatever your video you're watching. I might reuse this clip. Then you can make sure to check it out. And thank you.